Hello everyone. In this video, we will go over FortiGate user identification feature and its configuration covering both agentless and agent based user identification deployments. All the user information, including user IP mappings, is available in the firewall user tab within the FortiGate's dashboard. This tab displays consolidated user and group information pulled from various sources, which include Active Directory, Radius, Syslog, Exchange, E Directory, or Citrix Terminal Server. Enabling user identification on a FortiGate requires setting up the fabric connectors for identity. Fortinet Single Sign On offers agentless option where we pull Active Directory after certain fixed interval to pull user information. Or we can configure agent based connector in which case we set up Fortinet Single Sign On agent on a server in the same network as the domain controller. Agent based FSSO provides additional functionality where we can pull user mapping information from Syslog server, Citrix terminal server, or Exchange server. Moving back to FortiGate, let's take a look at connector configuration. The Active Directory polling connector requires you to define an LDAP server which will be used as the source for user identification. Here we can also select the Active Directory groups for which we will be polling the domain controller for user information. For the agent based configuration, I am using 4D Authenticator as the collector agent to pull all the user and group information from the various sources. Once we have configured the 4D net single sign on connectors, we can go to the user authentication tab and define user groups, which we can use in the security policies to control user access and map all traffic traversing the FortiGate to specific users. Now let's move on to a desktop which sits behind the FortiGate to generate some test traffic. As you can notice, we are logged into this endpoint as user Ron Smith. Now let's generate some web traffic by browsing to some known reputable websites that are allowed on FortiGate and also to a website that will get blocked by the web filtering profile. Now let's move back to the FortiGate and take a look at the user activity. For this, we will navigate to log and report section and select forward traffic logs. This log type record all traffic traversing the FortiGate and by looking at the logs, we can see that all entries are mapped to a specific username. Let's refresh the logs to see our recent web activity for user rsmith, where he tried to access sites like YouTube and Yahoo. Similarly, we can verify the blocked web activity related to poker.com for user rsmith under the web filtering logs. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.